In order for this game to actually be fun, we need to randomize the order in which these flags are created, then show an alert whether they're right or wrong, they tap a flag, and of course, reshuffle the flags every time. Now, we already set correct answer to be a random integer, but these flags always start in the same order every time. So to fix that, we can just shuffle up this country's array when the game starts. So we can do simply that array of strings dot shuffled. As you can see, just calling shuffled automatically takes care of randomizing the array order for us. Now for the more interesting part, when a button is tapped, we have the simple flag was tapped comment here. This has to be replaced with some code that determines did it tap the right flag or not? The best way of doing that is with a new method that accepts the integer of this button, this number value here, and checks whether that matches the correct answer property we made earlier. Regardless of whether they're correct or wrong, we want to show an alert to the user saying what happens, they can track their progress. So we'll add a property to show the alert on demand. We'll say at state private var showing score is false. And then we'll add another property to show the title for the alert. At state private var score title is an empty string. So whatever method we write, we'll accept the number of the button that was tapped, compare that against our correct answer property, this one here, and then set these two new properties to be meaningful for the alert. So down here, we're gonna say a new method called flag tapped. This will accept the number of flag, so I'll do underscore number int, and inside here we'll say if that number is equal to our correct answer property, then our score title is correct. You were right. Otherwise, score title is wrong. Regardless, we'll do showing score is true. And we can now call that inside this button up here, replacing this comment with flag tapped with that number. Remember, we get this number value here, it's passed to us from the for each. It's counting zero, one, two. So it'll be flag tap zero, flag tap one, or flag tap two. Now, just passing that through under flag, flag tapped. Before we show the alert, of course, we wanna think what, when the alert should be dismissed. Like, what should happen here? The game shouldn't be over, for example. What should happen here? Otherwise, they play one round and the game would end immediately. Instead, we'll carry on to the next question, the next question, next question. So they press OK and ask another one, ask another one again and again, cycling through the whole game. So we're going to write a new method down here called ask question, which has the job of asking a new question, reshuffling the country's array and picking a new correct answer property. So we'll say func ask question. We'll do countries dot shuffle. And then correct answer is again in dot random in zero through two. And that code won't compile. <laughs> and hopefully you, you can see why it won't compile very quickly. Uh, we're trying to change countries and correct answer, but they have not been marked as mutable state. They can't be modified. All that appear that it's var countries and var correct answer. And so we're gonna make these marked as state. These can be changed as our program evolves. So we'll say at state private var countries and at state private var correct answer. And now we're ready to show the alert. This has to use the alert modifier. So the alert gets shown when our showing score boolean is true. It needs to show the title we have in our score title property and then dismiss. That will call ask question when it's tapped. So we have our Z stack here. At the very end of that, I'm gonna add our alert modifier. Title will be our score title. Is presented will be bound to dollar showing score. So show the alert when that's true, and then set it back to false again when the alert's dismissed. Inside there'll be a button called continue. And when that's pressed, its action will be ask question. So I press continue, ask another one, ask another one, ask another one, again, and again, and again. And then the message for this is simply going to be text. Your score is question mark, question mark, question mark. And yes, there are three question marks there and purposely here, you'll be fixing that one later on.